Hey guys, thank you for joining me and welcome back. I hope you all are doing well today. So today I'm going to create two vintage style candle holders. These are really, really nice. I love the way they came out. And I'm going to be using a lot of crystal in these today. I just, I mean, I just love the way they look. So the crystal I'm using today are glass crystals. They're real chandelier glass crystals. The hexagon mirrors I picked up from Michaels and the candlestick holders I picked up from my thrift store. So guys, please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and don't forget to click the notification bell. So right now guys, if you're interested, I'm going to show you how I created these two beautiful display mirrors. So I'll be using these two candlestick holders, two different candlestick holders, and I picked those up from my thrift store. I'll be using two mirrors that I picked up from Michaels. And I've already removed the padding and the paper label from the back. I'm going to be using these amber colored crystals. These are absolutely gorgeous, guys. These are made of glass. These are real chandelier crystals uh, with the uh, jump rings attached. I'm also going to be using some clear ones in a separate project. So this one is shaped like a leaf. It's really beautiful. And I'm going to show you one that I've used in past videos, the teardrop shape. I'm going to use this glittered paper. I used this in the last project as well as this embossed gold paper. This is contact paper guys. And I'm going to be using our crystal rhinestone bling in gold and in clear. The adhesive I'm going to use today is the hot glue gun and I'm also going to be experimenting again with the double sided sticky tape which I call alien tape. I'm also going to be using uh, these tools very quickly I'll use these tools as well as the cardboard panel. So right now guys I'm going to trace the shape of the mirrors onto the cardboard. I'm going to create two and then I'm going to cut them both out using my utility knife. Now that they're both ready guys, I'm going to hot glue the mirrors onto both. I'm going to apply my contact paper to both base of the mirrors. So after that guys, I'm going to start decorating the mirrors. I'm going to use the double sided sticky tape as my adhesive today. This is very strong and I really do like the hold that it has. I think it's stronger than um, hot glue. So today I'm going to be using it as 
a hold for the base. I'm going to attach the base to the back of the mirror and I'm going to use that today instead of any strong glue or hot glues. And guys, I'm going to tell you, I'm very impressed with the hold. It gave a very strong hold. As you're going to see me shake this mirror so hard. I'm just going to shake it really hard and it's not going to uh, disturb the adhesive. This is really strong. I was really impressed, guys. So I'm going to continue. And as you can see, it looks nice and secure. So I'm going to do the second candlestick holder. I'm going to attach the mirror the same way. So before I decorate the mirrors, I'm going to remove the jump ring from a few of the crystals and I'm just going to use my pliers to do that. As you can see there on that brown silicone sheet, that's a non-stick sheet, I already cut away a few pieces of the double-sided sticky tape. I'm going to use that as my adhesive today to attach the crystals to the perimeter of the mirror. Just lightly press it into place and it'll hold. For project number two, I'm going to use hot glue to attach the amber color crystals to the perimeter of the mirror. So this design is going to just be a beautiful draping design. I'm going to drape the crystals along the outer edge of the mirror just to give it a vintage look. They came out absolutely beautiful. I love the way they look. And guys, I'm gonna keep you updated on how long these crystals hold up with the tape. So guys, please let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. Please don't forget to thumbs up the video and please don't forget to subscribe. Stay well, stay safe, and stay blessed. And I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.